All right, hello there and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. And in this one, we're going to be covering linear interpolation. So what is going on here? So here we have a composition and I have this ball that is just bouncing back and forth. Simple animation. And what I want is for the tip of my triangle to follow this ball. Now I have the rotation open right here. And if I try to say like do an expression and then pick whip this to the X of my ball and I played it back. Notice that it just spins out of control because we are simply raising our rotation and it's looping. So this isn't going to help us. So I'm going to undo that by pressing control Z or command Z if you're on a Mac. And what we're going to do is we actually have to create an expression, but it has to be a linear interpolation. So, just to show you guys this, you click on this arrow right here, go up to interpolation, and then you're going to select this one right here, linear T, T minus, T max, value one, value two. Select that. So here we have this expression and we're going to really see how this works. So this T here is going to be our value that we select from our ball. So it's going to be the X. This T minus is going to be the minimum value of our X. So the X when it's at the beginning, so 326. And then the T max here is going to be the X when it is at its highest value, so 1706. And with the value one over here, this is going to be the Pali stars rotation when T is at its lowest point or the T minus. And with value two, this is going to be the rotation of our Pali star also when T is at its highest point. So let's fill these in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my expression, get rid of this T here, and then I am going to pick whip down here to my position on the X. And then we're going to go over here to T minus, and we're going to find out what X is at its lowest point. So it's 326. So I'm going to open this up and write 326. Okay, good. And then we have to find out the T max. So the ball when it is at its highest point. So 1706. And then we need to decide what our rotation is going to be for our polystar when the ball is at its lowest point. So to do this, we have to simply just rotate this and we see that it is at negative 50 around there. We'll do negative 47. So I'll write negative 47 for the lowest point, value one. And then we're gonna go to its highest point right here and we're gonna rotate this as well to right about there. And we see that it's at positive 47. So this is going to be our value too. And if we click off of it now and we play it back, notice now that our triangle is now following our ball. So that's a little bit about how the linear interpolation works. So I hope that you learned something from this and that you will give it a try. Until next time.